Ladies and gentlemen, draw your eyes to the center ring. We have a very special presentation in store for you. What's going on, ladies and gentlemen? It's Dan here, and I want to welcome you guys back. Oh my god, I'm excited as hell. To Star Wars, Knights of the Old Republic. Guys, yes, do not adjust your screen. We are actually replaying Knights of the Old Republic, this time on PC. So hopefully we don't get any of those, uh, those nasty audio glitches and skippages and things like that. Not only are we playing it on PC... We are playing it heavily modded. Now, there I've spent, I don't know, I can't even tell you how long I've spent just installing mods, graphics mods, sound mods, texture mods, all sorts of other mods, extended content mods, all sorts of things to make uh, our KOTOR experience that much more enjoyable and new. Because we've never, there's some things here that we've never experienced before, or at least I've never experienced. I'm sure some people have not. I've played KOTOR so many times in the past, and, you know, it's just, it's not being on console you can't really do much with it but this is the first time i'm actually left playing it on pc and the possibilities are more or less endless so basically what we're doing this time i know i want a couple announce a couple things before we get started I, I know there's a lot to say but i've already done kotor one and two right both light side dark side so what's that what's remaining well for both those games and all four of those let's plays i've done male characters well this time around we're going to do a female character and not only going to do a female character we're going to be doing a gray jedi and what that basically means is you're not on the light side you're not on the dark you stay perfectly in the middle basically the probably the kind of jedi i would be if i'm honest because most of the time gray jedis don't really like they find fault in both sides they're just like the light sides are too goody two shoes the jedi too goody two shoes the sith are just stupid evil for no reason why can't there be a medium which i think makes the most sense and that also means we are going to be playing this game uh with both light side and dark side choices to kind of keep them relatively in the middle but this also means say we do someone a favor and they're like here take this money you say okay thanks you don't have to be like no 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 keep it for the light side points you know what i mean we're staying perfectly in the middle so this is going to be exciting i cannot wait to get started i hope you guys are ready to rock and roll with this let's play if you are do me a favor guys hit that like button this is going to be a big let's play so i hope you guys do enjoy it like i said let's try and get like thousand likes you think we can get a thousand likes Liking the video helps out a lot, but that's, of course, if you enjoy what you see. I don't want you to like something you don't like, obviously. So, without any further ado, ladies and gentlemen, let's jump into my Let's Play of Star Wars Knights of the Old Republic for the third time on YouTube. Let's do this. Now, one thing I want to make a mention as well, guys. It's kind of a special time for Knights of the Old Republic. Uh, a few months ago, they celebrated their 15-year anniversary. Back in 2013, sorry, 2003, rather, uh, is when this game released. And it's also the four-year anniversary, if you will, since my last KOTOR Let's Play. And that, it was KOTOR 2. So, it's been a while. It has been a while since I've actually played any of the KOTOR games. And I've been wanting to for so long. And I finally decided to pick it up. So, we're not going to do any of these male, uh, male classes. We're going to be doing females. Now, I don't really think I want to start with a, a soldier. I'm thinking more towards a scout. As opposed to a scoundrel, this is like stealth. So I'm thinking I'm going to go with a female scout on this one. I'm going to do a custom character, the portrait. This is something I don't believe I installed mods for, for whatever reason. But I think I might go with something... Relatively good, obviously. The best one here. There aren't many images, are there? I'm thinking something towards that. Or that. What are we thinking? Black hair? That's kind of a red-brown, isn't it? Basically, you want to look at the... Uh, the other module. Actually, I don't think... There aren't too many texture mods for this. Mainly focusing on male. Because they try to make it canon. With Revan being, you know, male and everything. So, um... That's kind of the goal here. So, I'm thinking... I'm leaning towards her... Because I think this, like, the image looks fine, but the actual character model looks kind of stupid. So I'm thinking we'll rep her. Attributes. All right. So, um, now a good scoundrel is going to rely on a lot of... Well, actually, let's cancel for a second. Let's go... I can't. I have to do attributes first. So, one thing I want to do... Hold on a sec. Oh, what, well, let's see what it recommends. 
It recommends a lot of dexterity, a lot of intelligence, not as much charisma. That actually seems like a pretty solid one. Dexterity is important. Intelligence is good. Wisdom is pretty good. I think I might drop a dexterity and boost the charisma. I'm going to drop two. And we're going to roll kind of with that. That actually sounds... Pr oh, wait. I still have two points. What am I doing? Ah, see, some of these are two points. Some of these are one point cost. You got to look at it that way. So the, the charisma costs only one. Whereas dexterity costs two. So... I can do a full 14. And that's a two point modifier. Or I can do a strength. I think I'll rec represent that. The skills. Wow, all these are single points. You know what though? I think that's I think that's because of a mod I installed. To be honest, I don't really know what I installed. So computer use demolitions, uh, awareness. I want persuade to be quite high too though. My security skill, let's see. Uh, I'm gonna drop demolitions for a bit. I'm gonna boost persuade. Um, oh god, these are actually, I'm gonna drop this again. Get security going. Treat injury is important, I'm gonna drop repair for, no, I'm gonna leave repair up. Awareness I'm gonna drop and boost that persuade. That's how I'm gonna roll it for now. The feats, now here's my question. So they give us medium armor, obviously. All these are going to cost one... We only get one feat. So since I'm going to be using me uh, melee weapons, I could do a power attack, but I think I might do a critical strike. I think I like that a little bit better. And the name. This... Now here's my question. You can actually do numbers on PC, which is funny. Or we could just randomize it. Because I remember cock and sauce. That was a good one. But that was for that was for a male or female character. Or a male character, rather. I don't know. Unless we do this. <laughs> there you go. That's so stupid. But. <laughs> Done. What a great name. I'm, I'm repping that, man. Let's do it. <laughs> and the loading screen is going to be next to, like... They're not going to take long. That's the beauty of all this. PC, too quick. Oh, you guys got to know who we're dipping into the drawer for. Dipping into the drawer for my man Farkas. Let's get his bitch ass out here. Come on, Farkas. Let's go, buddy. Let's get to work. What are you talking about? You, you woke me up from a deep slumber. Dude, get in here now. Oh, God. My time to shine. Sorry. What's up, ladies and gentlemen? It's Farkas here. Welcome back, Knights of the Old Republic. 4,000 years before the rise of the Galactic Empire, the Republic verges on collapse. Darth Malak, last surviving apprentice of the Dark Lord Revan, has unleashed an invin invincible Sith armada upon an unsuspecting galaxy. Crushing all resistance, Malak's War of Conquest has left the Jedi Order scattered and vulnerable as countless knights fall in battle, and many more swear allegiance to the new Sith Master. Whoa, it's getting intense. In the skies above the Outer Rim world of Tyrus, a Jedi battle fleet engages the forces of Darth Malak in a desperate effort to halt the Sith's galactic domination. Dot, 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 dot. All right, man, that's all we need from you. Go to, all right, people, I'm out. Peace. No, get... Dude, you don't get to steal the shows. Get in the damn drawer and stay in the damn drawer. Go back to your slumber. Who knows when we'll wake you up when KOTOR 2 comes around. <laughs> I think the one thing that it didn't mod was obviously the videos that you're seeing right now. Those didn't get modded for obvious reasons. But once we get into gameplay, you'll see huge changes. And I think honestly, if I, I think I'm right in saying this is my first proper time playing KOTOR on PC. I've just never needed to, you know? But I knew if I was ever going to do another Let's Play for it, I would definitely, uh, I would definitely do it on PC. Not only that, we get the good frame rates, run smooth mods, obviously. It's always fun. Don't mind me, I'm just naked. We've been ambushed by a Sith battle fleet. 
The Endar Spire is under attack. Hurry up, we don't have much time. Who are you? I'm Tras Volgo, ensign with the Republic fleet. I'm your bunkmate here on the Endar Spire. Tras, the bed intruder's back! Shifts. I guess that's why you haven't seen me before. Now hurry up, we have to find Bastila. We have to make sure she makes it off the ship alive. Remember, we gotta be neutral. Bastil is the commanding officer on the Endar Spire. Well, not an officer, really, but she's the one in charge of this mission. One of our primary duties is to guarantee her survival in the event of an enemy attack. You swore an oath just like everyone else on this mission. Now it's time to make good on that oath. I heard what everyone's saying about you. You've explored the farthest reaches of the galaxy. You've visited planets I've never even heard of. People with your skills and abilities are hard to find. It's no wonder the Republic recruited you for this mission. But now's the time to prove yourself. I know you're a scout and not a soldier. But Bastila needs all troops at her side during this attack. Okay, let's go help. So hurry up and grab your gear. You need to suit up so we can get out of here. Where's the big bird? Okay. Alright. Welcome. Good. Uh... All our goods, get items. This is weird. I'm not used to this. Okay, here's our menus. I'm just gonna get rid of all these while I can. Cool. Let's do a save to make sure everything's fresh and clean. Enter name. Yeah, why would I need anything else? Okay, let's equip our goods. So we got clothing. Cause little, we're looking a little less modest. And we get the cardio package because we are a scout. And we're repping the short sword. Alright girl, let's roll. Oh right, sorry. Okay, let's move out. We should stick together. You'll have more success with a party than on your own. Word. Alright, Trask's in the party. Welcome, Trask. Because of the attack, this room is in lockdown. But don't worry, I've got the override codes. You'll have to use me to unlock the door. You always control the leader of the party. You can switch who is left click my portrait now to switch me to left see, click to target the Gotcha, see it's uh You always control left left yeah. Right, sorry, it's uh it's it's new for me because I I don't normally play on PC. You better take the lead again. I will. What? <laughs> Let me do that again. Yeah. 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 Yes. Yeah. Sounds like a bit of a Melvin. Yes. Thank you very much. This is Cardinal Nasty. The Sith are threatening to overrun our position. We can't hold out long against their firepower. All hands to the bridge. That was Karth contacting us on our portable communicators. He's one of the Republic's best pilots. He's seen more combat than the rest of the Endar Spire's crew put together. If he says things are bad, you better believe it. We have to get to the bridge to help defend Bastila. There's a map of the Endar Spire and a copy of Karth's message in your electronic journal, just in case we get separated. Let's move out. Come on. Simple. See, that's gonna be handy. We don't have to switch between people because we got that security skill. These Sith must be the advanced boarding party. Blah, 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 blah. The yeah. The game pauses when you sight. Yes. Yeah. Let's go. Critical's bitch ass. Critical's bitch ass. Go. How do you play again? Sorry. How do you? What's the pause? Who am I attacking? Let him know! Oh, that kick to the face though. No bodies. I think we're good. Let's go. Why wouldn't it let me go? I won't let me move right now. What's happening? Dude, I can't move. I swear. Okay, stop for a second. It won't let me stop. What's going on? I can't move. You have to finish this quick. What the hell, man? Oh my gosh. 
Well, let's save. Play. Load game two. See if I can move. Yeah, okay, it was just glitched out. Alright, let's go. Let's go flurry on they bitch ass. I go. Gotta like relearn a bunch of stuff, you know what I mean? Got him. Go attack him. This will finish him. Yeet! Alright, cool. Combat suit. Oh, the good stuff. Doesn't anybody. Oh, he's got some re, re mizzles. Give me that money. All right, let's go ahead and equip them. Give me that combat suit. We gotta get that long sword. I don't know if I want to do single or double bladed this time. You know what I mean? Because I think I did two lightsabers for my first one. So I'm wondering if I should just wrap a single hilt this time. You know, try new things. I don't remember if I if I've done that yet or not. I have to consult my other let's plays. <laughs> It's been that long. Well, four years since KOTOR 2. KOTOR 2 light side, anyway. Damn! Could've used your help. Now get the remains first, girl. Remains first. Get remains too. Okay, what you need to... You know what, I'm gonna chuck a grenade on your bitch ass. Yeah. Bye. Ah. Ooh! I'm gonna do it again. Nate out. Ah. Mm -mm -mm. You didn't say the magic word. Uh uh uh. Uh uh uh. <laughs> By the way, there. Like I said, there's a restored content mod that I've just that I've installed, and uh, it's gonna really help. There's gonna be some things that we haven't seen, like some some discussion here with Karth on the Endar Spire is one of the things. That'll be set. That'll be delicious. Okay. Now this is a dead end. But we'll take said parts. Dun dun dun. You know what's crazy is this game is kind of like point and click, like on PC. Dark Jedi. This fight is too much for us. We better stay back. All we do is get in the way. See the uh, another installation. I don't know if you guys that can was tell. One of the Jedi accompanying Bastila. Damn. Damn, we could have used her help. Um, real sort of realistic, like updated lightsaber effects. So that's really cool. All right, let's get let's do a regular attack, and then for him, we'll do a critical, and then a flurry. Yeah. I gotta say, it's so much faster to do it this way, you know? You just have to click where you want to go. That's lovely. Come on, baby. Get his ass. Oh, he down. You know he did. Luxurious. Alright. Uh, bridge is where we need to go, so I'm just gonna go over here real quick. Check for goodies. No goodies. Okay, you know what, Trask? Stop intruding my space. I know you like to intrude on people's, like, beds, but the space, can we just limit it to the beds and not the space? Uh, what are we thinking? Let's do a flurry. Two flurries. And then homeboy here is gonna get two criticals. I think, actually, critical strike works better on the armor. Oh, God. I forgot about that. Bastel is not here on the bridge. They must have retreated to the escape pods. We better head that way, too. The Sith want Bastila alive, but once she's off the ship, there's nothing stopping them from blasting the Endar Spire into galactic dust. All right, let's head out then, buddy. Go, it's doing it again. That's a bu that's an annoying bug. Oh, they wait. That's a frustrating situation. I shouldn't have to do that. Every time, like, there's an auto... I really hope that... Oh, look at that. First person is... Okay, that's that. But see how I can't move right now. 
So I have to load it every time that happens? That seems like a stupid situation. Oh, it's empty, right. It doesn't show. Damn, son, relax. I know I've got the level up. See, there is the there's the technique to um to not level anybody up until you get to the Dantooine. But it makes every single one of these skills a, cr a non cross class, which is pretty good. Persuade up, I want. Uh, security, I'll get up. Computer use, I want up. And maybe repair. Yeah, I like that. Good. Feats. I can get my heavy armor, but I think I might stick with the the one weapon. I'm going to give myself a power attack. All three of the big boys. Good. All right, we're good, right? One sec. Let's go, girl. Something behind here. No! Trask, Damn, why? Jedi. I'll try to hold him off. You get to the escape pods. Go! It's Darth Bandon. I almost forgot about Darth Bandon. That is Darth Bandon, right? Something like that. I remember making fun of him. That's all. It's funny how I rec remember making fun of him. Oh, Starbird. Well, and this is where he peaced out. He's like, no, he gave us time. Even though, realistically, it would not. He, you know, we'd be able to make it. You know. God, the loading screens are so this is quick. Nasa, I love your it. Personal communicator. I'm tracking your position through the Endar Spire's life support systems. Basilis escape pod is away. You're the last surviving crew member on the Endar Spire. No, I can't wait for you much longer. You have to get to the escape pods. All right, relax. I'm gonna chuck a nade at him because it's fun. All right, let's go power attack him. Kobe! Yes! God, 60 frames KOTOR is lovely, isn't it? Wait, what's this one all about? That's broken. No! Ah, uh, what are we thinking? No, we want this clown. Let's power attack him. Let's see what happens. Critical is that okay? I get it. Thank you. Remember, only left click. Go! Yeet! There's a whole squad of Sith troopers on the other side of that door. You need to find some way to thin their numbers. You could reprogram the damaged assault droid to help you if you have enough repair parts. Or you could use computer spikes to slice into the terminal and use the Endar Spire security systems against the Sith. Okay, well, step one. See, that's a problem, guys. I can't move. After every conversation, mid-com... Like, I can't move. I can, like, click, but I can't manually move. Does that make sense? See, like, I can't move right now. There's gotta be a... This, that's a... It's... Okay, well. And then I gotta load it. That's so annoying. There's gotta be another way. What are we thinking? No, actually, I want to use this because it uses four. We'll have one spike left. This one's more fun anyway, isn't it? I love how the ship is going down. Wait a minute. Yeah, see, this is the this is the updated console. After every. I really hope that doesn't happen the whole time. Doesn't one of them have like a heavier weapon? The prototype vibro blade. By the way, there is a there's also weapon new weapon skins as well. Like kind of mod. You can tell it's not a stock like the way things look is I mean it's not dramatically different, but So long swords 1 to 12, the prototypes this is an extra damage to the physical. I think I might leave it for now. Just for now. You've made it just in time. 
There's only one active escape pod left. Come on, we can hide out on the planet below. Who are you? I'm a soldier with Republic, like you. We're the last two crew members left in the Endar Spire. Basila's escape pod's already gone, so there's no reason for us to stick around here and get shot by the Sith. Now, come on. There'll be time for questions later. But I don't want to go yet. Let me talk to him. Basila's escape pod's already gone, so there's no reason for us to stick around here and get shot by the Sith. Now, come on. There'll be time for questions later. Let's bounce. Alright ladies and gentlemen, that's going to be it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, do me a favor, hit that like button. Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. If you haven't yet, be sure to like and follow my pages on social media. Facebook.com slash DanQ8000 for live streams and other content. Twitter, DanQ8000. Instagram, DanQ8K. And Snapchat, DanQ8000. If you want to get yourself a shirt or hoodie, there's a link to my shop in the description below. And if you want to save 10% off your next DX Racer, link in the description. Be sure to use the promo code DanQ8000 at checkout. Alright guys, thank you so much again. Take it easy. Have a wonderful day. I'll be seeing you soon for more content, but until then, let's Send things over to Knoxville. Have a good one, guys. Yeah.